Well, Wednesday is here on the program. We like to put the spotlight on the farm women's group called Common Ground. Common Ground is a group of farm women who want to be a resource for consumers who want to know more about how their food is grown. So joining us today, we have Morgan Rich. She is from Osceola, and she is also with the Corn Growers Association. Thanks for being here today, Morgan. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how's everything in your area? Wet. <laughs> no. Yes, we got about three inches of rain in the past couple of days, so it's soggy up there. Yeah, tough for harvest, isn't yes, it? Yes, nothing's going right now. Mm. What's the feeling of farmers in that area? Antsy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Anxious. ready to get back. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, well, we want to talk a little bit today about corn, because I know they're trying to get that corn out of the fields. Um, we know it's used for livestock feed. We know it's used for ethanol. How about used in food? Yeah, so field corn has a lot of uses. Uh, we can use it as corn starch, corn flour, corn oil. Uh, it goes into things like corn flakes, pop with the high fructose corn syrup. Uh, there's lots of products that we can use corn in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about the non-food uses? I know that amazes me to know how many non-food uses there are. Yeah, like you guys mentioned, ethanol, which is huge here in Nebraska and across the country, but there are a lot of other products too. I brought a couple with me today. We can use corn in corn plastic, uh, in air filters that you would put in your car uh, for mm. some dog toys, even in carpet and in diapers. Yeah, I didn't know that about diapers. That's really interesting. Yeah, yeah. the cornstarch helps helps yeah. it absorb the liquid. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I never would have thought that. What about what is this right here? The carpet piece of carpet yeah. square. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so let's let people see that too. Mm -hmm. So so many different uses here today. Um, I know our kids over the years will see corn in the field and they'll wonder if that's on the dinner table. Mm -hmm. Most of the corn that we see in Nebraska when you're driving down I-80 is field corn. So it's not the sweet, typical sweet corn that you would picture on your plate. Of course, like we talked about before, field corn can go into some different products, but you're not going to eat it straight off the cob. You'd probably chip a tooth. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. pretty pretty hard. Yes. Right. And again, you're with the Corn Growers Association mm -hmm. uh, and getting back to the other use of corn, that's for livestock. Yeah, yeah. correct. So livestock is one of the biggest consumers of field corn in Nebraska and so we really appreciate the relationship that corn gr growers in the state have cultivated with our livestock producers. We can help both industries grow. Okay, anything else that consumers out there should know about? So when a consumer goes into the grocery store, there are over 4,000 products in the store that could be made using corn and corn byproducts. And for corn farmers growing the corn for themselves and their families and your family. So we want consumers to know it's a safe and healthy product. Because mm -hmm, you're growing it for your family too. Exactly. Right? So you care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very interesting. Yeah. Thanks, Morgan. Yeah, thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. And she's sticking around with a recipe. Yes. Thankfully, yep. yeah. That's Something good. with cornflakes. <laughs> <laughs> I know the whole crew here looks forward to Wednesdays when we have food, so thank you. Okay, see you soon.